Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Beer Money Review, and this week, we are reviewing Ember Fund, a cryptocurrency investment platform designed to simplify crypto portfolio management for users, even for those with little to no prior experience in the space, or at least that's what their description says. Now, Ember Fund is part crypto investment platform and part crypto earning platform, and I'm going to go through mainly the crypto earning platform today and how you can cash out of Ember Fund, but I'll also go through some of the investment options and some of the other stuff that they do as well if you are interested in that. So the first major feature of Ember Fund is the 24-hour Bitcoin faucet. So what you got to do is you go over here, and I hope you guys don't mind that I'm going to do the uh, just kind of um, interactive kind of review here instead of like just showing off or trying to describe things. But I'm going to go ahead and click Start Earning Bitcoin. Apparently a lot of you like this style a lot better than like the old-time kind of narrated reviews. So... I'm going with that. So, okay, as about to start in about five seconds, I will see you all on the other side. So what this does is uh, it turns on the uh, Bitcoin machine here and you will gain Satoshi equal to a amount that is based on the amount of friends that you have on your friends list. Uh, the first one is usually around like, I think an extra 10 or 11 Satoshi an hour. Uh, mine was 12 and then any referrals that you might have here where they give you anywhere between like 3 to 10 you know somewhere within that satoshi per hour so you notice here my first two friends here sitting at 12 and 3 um the uh you will probably end up starting out with around 11 to 12 satoshi an hour is how much you'd be earning if you don't have any friends it'll be only one an hour so I just want to mention that. Uh, you can also earn some Satoshi via play and earn. So if you go here, um, you this basically is kind of similar to playtime where you can go and play some games and you can earn Satoshi accordingly. Uh, mine only has three games available right now. Dice Dreams, Coin Master, and Angry Birds Dream Blast. Um, yeah, so these will earn you some Satoshi towards your amount here on Ember Fund. Uh, there's also a challenges available and we're going to go through challenges like I'm going to go through all the different things that are on these challenges like earning 5,000 Satoshis from tasks, uh, wager 500 Satoshis on tournaments. These usually go and change depending on the day and what you have to know is that a lot of these do cost money from your Satoshi bank account but you can earn a bonus from them. So it says here 1,275 Satoshi is available. Um, the only one I think that is not uh, costing you Satoshis from this bankroll that you have is the earn 5,000 Satoshis from tasks. Uh, these micro tasks here are basically just your typical offer walls and you just kind of earn from the offer wall pretty much. That's all you got to worry about. Um, the rest of them, however... Uh, do involve, if I go back to challenges, the rest of them do involve spending some money, well, at least your bankroll in this case, and we'll talk about some of these games very shortly. And then uh, to earn more Satoshi, if, you know, just the 24-hour uh, machine does not work for you, or you want to earn more, you can go and play some tournaments. Now, they do have free tournaments offered, and these tournaments, you know, weekly free-for-all, free-for-all, and they'll usually have like a face-off or a meme face-off of some sort. And you can play four, and I think they pop up around twice a day. And the way that it works is if you click on one of them, I'm going to click on this one, uh, you can see your prize pool right here. And this will tell you just exactly how many prizes are available in this tournament. So this indicates that, they're, that they allow for up to 80,000 players. And you have to be in the top 20,000 to earn anything. This is six Satoshi top 100 you start earning a lot more as you can see here and what you do is you go and you try to make a portfolio of three crypto coins and usually my strategy with this one is i will pick the ones that have been down the most and usually you can find those in the memes during a down day and you just pick the three lowest one i just picked the three lowest ones and that pretty much guarantees me to earn at least six satoshi in a tournament or usually like five to seven, depending on. 
So once you do that and you click next, it's going to run an ad. So just give me a second here while I run that ad. And just like that, we're done. And you see here I have entered. So I'll click here and it will and I can have the ability to trade if I so wish. And I can trade out one stock for another, uh, I believe, while the game starts. This is an active trading type. So with active ones, you can trade during the game. And with passive ones, you cannot. Uh, you are given one active weekly free for all. You're also given a daily active and a daily passive and usually some kind of face off as well. So if I click free for all active and I can basically do the same thing here. This one has a slightly smaller prize pool, I believe, or at least a slightly smaller amount of players playing. This one, though, will pay out 5,000 out of 8,000 players and the top prize being 2100 Satoshi. And this game time here will also tell you just exactly when the game begins. Uh, if you ever want to play actively, basically. Now, there are also games with uh, entry fees here. They do have a low roller, mid roller, and weekly platinum that costs a certain amount of Satoshi, and they do pay out better. I go view prizes here. They do pay out a bit better, but as you can see, this one costs 250 Satoshi to get in. There's 200 total players, so to basically break even, you have to finish 21st, uh, I mean 20th, or I mean 50th or better, I mean. Uh, to make, you have to finish in the top 20 out of 200. I'm not saying that uh, it's impossible, but, you know, that seems a little, you know, if you're just trying to play casually, maybe you might want to try another place. Uh, here's a mid-roller one. I believe they also do uh, 30 total players. And you see here, the top 10 is what you need in order to make money. And I believe this one is a 1,500, yeah, 1,500 entry fee, but you but everyone does make money. The, all the winners do make money, so it's 10 out of 30. And then finally, the Weekly Platinum, which I believe allows for 20 players and top five payout. Um, however, the expected value of them, uh, based on the prizes, if I just give one here as, here as an example, this is the expected value. I have it available for you here. Um, you can see each of the expected value of the low roller, mid roller, and high roller games so that you can decide for yourself if it's right for you. Moving on, we talked about games here, at least some of the games like micro tasks, but there are also mini games. And with these mini games, you can also kind of, it's kind of similar to the social casino games of dice and crash and other things like that. Plinko, um, I don't. Uh, I can't really give you what the house edge is because like the odds are very, uh, I, I guess I can give you something like dice. You can see here, this is about a 2% house edge. The winnings being 1.98x. I'll have the math for that for you as well out here, but there's a big reason why um, we avoid these games in social casinos and also why we should avoid them here at Ember Fund. I just want to show you as an option. Um, it is an option there. But they're pretty much just designed to drain your bankroll. And if you're here to solely earn, it's probably not the best way to earn. There is also the predictions. And this is kind of similar to uh, sports books in a way. Uh, you can pretty much choose a game. that I got one here, Mets and Phillies. And based on the two, you choose your prediction. And if that team wins, you will earn the amount of Satoshi that's available times the multiplier. So in this case, if the New York Mets win their uh, NLDS game, I believe this is for October 8th. So this is for tomorrow. Then they will then if you put down 100 Satoshi, you will win 193. And if the Phillies win, you'll get 189 Satoshis. And this usually goes based off of the amount of players that bet on each one. They also kind of, I think, focus more like very in a very sports books kind of way. Either way, though, you can see the clear house edge here. There's a 7% edge here. There's a 11% edge here. It averages about 9%. Again, not exactly a great way to use your bankroll, at least in my opinion, unless of course, you subscribe to the idea that you can just like, you know, if there's certain strategies that you can make 100 plus percent of your cash back. But I feel like I feel like this isn't the best use anyway for most people to be uh, getting their Satoshis. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything regarding what you can do with Ember Fund, other than of course the referral program. But the referral program just pretty much adds someone to your friends list, and now you see where the challenges come from as well. The paid predictions, for example, if you play three of them, you'll get fifty satoshis as, as a bonus, which might offset the cost of the paid predictions. So it might not be the worst idea, but it is. But you know, you have to actually win and try to get to some kind of a mean, which again, I can't, I don't think there's much of a guarantee there. Finally, there's the ability to cash out. So there are a couple options for you to cash out. Um, I haven't really seen too much in the way of a minimum, but I would say that the minimum is two bucks. And I'll explain why in a little bit if I go here and I go to cash out. Um, the issue that we have here is that we have to redeem in the final two weeks of the month and you must have at least 10,000 Satoshis. Now, once that is done, I cannot show the screen here in the review, but once it's done, you're given two options. You can choose to pay 50 cents to turn it into wrapped Bitcoin that you can use in a wrapped Bitcoin wallet. However, you cannot use Coinbase. Uh, that is one thing that a lot of people have been finding out. I believe it's because they don't run on the same system. Uh, or you can directly send it and pay $2 to send it straight to your Bitcoin wallet here. And that does cost $2. And then you will have to pay a fee to move your Bitcoin over to Coinbase. If you're going to do any of this, this is why I highly recommend that you... Uh, have a cash out of at least around thirty to forty thousand satoshi uh, before that uh, before you cash out basically um, because that will get you at about twenty bucks and that way the fee is only about ten percent and I do recommend the higher fee one because the wrapped Bitcoin wallet would be very difficult to convert elsewhere unless you know a place that would allow you to convert from wrapped Bitcoin to Bitcoin at a decent price. I forgot one more thing, actually. Uh, instead of cashing out your wallet to Coinbase, you can also invest it. Um, instead of going, you know, over here, down at the bottom here, there's a bunch of portfolios. So you can actually take a portfolio of certain cryptos, something like the originals. This is probably the only one I would personally invest in if I would invest in any of this at all. Um, and you can use that deposit and use that to kind of grow your money accordingly um there's other options too that they have different portfolios they got different coins as well they even show some of the top movers um but yeah this is a, another way that you can earn your uh, money if you don't want to like uh, cash out to coinbase and use it there you can use ember fund as sort of a coinbase like system so the pros and cons we got two of each here so the first pro for ember fund is it is a very high bitcoin earner at least by faucet declarations a lot of bitcoin faucets offer like three to five bitcoin an hour these guys are offering 16 and they're giving it non-stop um, at least for me, and I think for most people, you'll be getting at least double digits an hour nonstop. So having that and having it available for 24 hours at a time, that's pretty cool. Uh, it also being semi-passive, at least that faucet is also a nice thing that the machine basically that I call it a machine. A lot of people will probably call it a faucet because that's what they used to be. Um, yeah, that being semi-passive is also a major plus. However, I will give a bit of a caution on this that I probably should mention. You probably need referrals in order to make any significant amount from the faucets. Uh, the cons of this is there really isn't that much to do without spending any, without spending your bankroll, basically. The social casino aspect of Ember Fund has definitely been showing in recent months. They used to have free predictions, which allowed you to earn some Satoshi that way. That's now gone. A lot of people were worried that the free tournaments were going to go away. We're not quite sure about that for now, but I will say that the social casino aspect is a bit of a problem in Ember Fund. And also, there is some pretty rough cash out options. You're not going to be able to withdraw for free. It's going to cost a decent fee regardless, and one option kind of renders the crypto almost useless unless you have an option to trade from 
wrapped Bitcoin to regular Bitcoin because it's it's just going to be plain difficult, I feel like, all around there. Now, if you want free crypto, hey, you know what? This ain't too bad. I think Ember Fund's all right. Um, as far as like crypto faucets are concerned, as far as crypto apps are concerned, Ember Fund is pretty decent, actually. However, if you are trying to avoid social casinos for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of people avoiding social casinos despite their high uh, gains that you can get from like daily login bonuses, but because they might have like, you know, issues with social casinos for moral reasons or for psychological reasons, you're probably not going to like Ember Fund either. And I would suggest that you stay away from Ember Fund. Either or, like as far as crypto apps go, it's pretty good. Uh, as far as like rewards apps in general, uh, it's it's kind of so so. It was good at one time, but nowadays it's so so. And I say that because mostly the loss of the predictions and how everything seems to cost Satoshi now and deduct Satoshi from your bankroll with a negative expected value and. Yeah, so hopefully this is a nice guide for you all on Ember Fund. If you want to check it out, I got a link in the description below. But this technically does not count as a social casino, surprisingly enough. So, yeah, uh, be, I guess because of the faucet and because of the free tournaments. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I have a link below on the description. Go check it out if you so wish. Or, you know, if you're trying to avoid for the same reasons that you avoid social casinos, I suggest you don't click the description. And don't forget to like this video and comment below what you think of Ember Fund and subscribe to Beer Money Engine. This is Pharaoh Silver signing out. I will see you at the next Beer Money Review. Bye, everyone.